Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a speed belt. Today I'm making a modern family home. Okay, I'm totally kidding. Hey guys, <laughs> it is me, Life Samir, and welcome to a modern, beachy sort of speed build. I actually went into this thinking I was going to make like a traditional sort of family home again, and um, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it, guys. What would my mating call be? <laughs> Probably something like that. But I um, went into this thinking I was going to make something a little bit more traditional because I always made very traditional homes. And I ended up making something a little modern. Now, like I just said, I'm more of a traditional builder. But of course, I want to expand my skills. So uh, yeah, my first, uh, I guess, modern home that I've done. Um, other than like, I think I made a couple on The Sims 3 and they were horrible. So <gasps> what's up with that? But uh, yeah, I don't have a name for this quite yet. I'll name it. You guys will see it in the uh, title of this video, but it doesn't have a name yet. So it's, um, it's nameless right now. Although I do have to say, I really love how modern homes look in Oasis Springs. Because, you know, it's a very modern town, obviously. It kind of has, like, the Spanish villa sort of look mixed in with, like, modern touches. And I really like that about Oasis Springs. I think it's really pretty. Kind of has, um, a California sort of feel to the whole town and everything. So, um, yeah, I like that style. And I feel like it incorporates and looks really nice in Oasis Springs. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you guys can see, it is a two-story, although uh, the two-story looks really big, but I ended up only using, like, a tiny, tiny, tiny portion of the upstairs. I don't, I don't know why, guys. I don't know why. If you download this house, you could go in and actually take that, uh, the section I didn't use and turn it into, like, another two bedrooms and a bathroom if you wanted to, but me being me, I'm difficult, and I made my bedroom literally two by two, so, you know, the more the merrier, but as you guys can see, I also made, like, a little, um, what would you call that? <laughs> Not a garage, but, like, a landing sort of thing? I don't know, where you could park your non-existent car in The Sims 4 under. I just went ahead and took one of those, like, little thingy is one of the toy cars and just you know super sized it and put it under there so it looks like we have a car but also as you guys can see right now i'm working on the uh wallpapers guess what i didn't do this time guys i didn't use any custom content that's right boys and girls none i do not use a piece of custom content shocking i know i uh just went in and uh used non custom content wallpaper i was like this house doesn't have to be as obnoxiously eye bleedingly bright so i didn't use my beautiful wallpaper that i adore so yes i'm proud of myself for that factor i do have to say though i uh actually really didn't like this house at first i was like this thing ugly i don't like it but my friends were like no this is my favorite house that you made yet upload it so i was like okay i'm gonna upload it <laughs> i was like i really just something's not tickling my pickle with this house but hey different homes for different occasions am i right and actually by the time i was done with it i quite liked it i was like this is different i could see maybe a bachelor or somebody who is um you know focusing on the career or maybe in their they're in the party house i could see them living here so i like that also, guys, by the way, in my previous speed build, I talked about how I got food poisoning. That's right, folks. Food poisoning. Guess what? You guys left comments saying, hey, it might have not been from the chicken. It might have been from the freaking lettuce. Excuse me? Excuse me. So you're telling me it's not even like um, the most unhealthy part in that thing. Like, you know, the lettuce is obviously the healthiest part of the salad. You're telling me that it wasn't the chicken, the part that, you know, I didn't really want. It was the part that I wanted, the lettuce. The lettuce is the part that could have gave me food poisoning. Apparently, lettuce has been being recalled because um, it's just, I don't know, something happened with it that it's been making people sick. And I'm just like, yo, WTF what's going on what's good you know what i mean what's good miley i was not happy with that when i heard that news i was not happy not a happy camper because i eat lettuce like every day i'm literally a rabbit so i'm like yo can i get it again you know what i mean 
Anyways, so right now you guys just see me kind of going around and landscaping a bit and uh, I ended up actually putting some hedges between that like, um, I guess that blank area uh, in our fake faux sort of garage sort of thing uh, just to block it off a little bit. I don't know. I think the privacy would be quite nice getting out of your car and everything so I just went ahead and did that and I have to say that I have been loving this flower combination lately it's like those little white fluffy ones and the yellow ones that I use a lot I bulk them everywhere those are awesome by the way um probably my favorite flower in the whole game or I believe it's actually under bushes is the one that you guys see me using literally every single second that's my favorite it's a good flower it's not really flowers. It's a bush, I think. I like it. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> so yeah, you guys should see me kind of sprucing it up a little bit more. And I just realized I did another blue house. I didn't mean to make another blue one. But I liked it. And I also really like this roofing. You know, everybody uses the orange colors to kind of portray the Spanish villa sort of look. And I love that look to pieces. But I think my favorite color combination of that roof, or not color combination, but my favorite color of that roof is definitely the blue. I like the blue. And um, flamingos. Kind of an essential. I don't know why I didn't use that in... Um, my previous speed build actually I feel like as time goes on and I'm building more houses I'm like seeing things that I usually wouldn't use you know what I mean so that's good I'm like I, I feel like I'm seeing more of a variety in the sims 4 which I do want to talk about really quickly actually I had like I don't know I had like a breakthrough last night <laughs> on the sims 4 I was just chilling and I was like looking at sim stuff and I was like bro the sims 4 is so good you guys the Sims 4 is seriously, I, I'm, it's growing on me. It's really growing on me. For one, graphics, superb, superb. Um, animations, also fantastic. Um, gameplay, of course, is awesome. You know, they're adding things all the time to it. I think the things that they're releasing for the game, they're doing really well with it. So I'm just saying, I, The Sims 4 is really good in my opinion. And I can't wait to see how it expands and just continues to build. Because so far I'm really loving it. And definitely I feel like my love for The Sims 4 and my knowledge for The Sims 4 is growing every single day. So I'm really excited. But as you guys can see, um, right now I'm putting together my tiny itty bitty, literally two by two bedroom. <laughs> this is like the size of my bedroom in real life. Um, I like little bedrooms though. I love little bedrooms. They make me very happy. <laughs> like I had an office uh, separate from my bedroom because I was like, you know, I don't want to work where I sleep, but it ends up I actually like working where I sleep. I know it's not really healthy, but it's my thing. <laughs> so I moved all my stuff back into my little tiny, tiny bedroom and I, I think I'm more happy that way. I don't know. But yeah, as you guys can see right now, I'm doing like a mint green, blue, and yellow sort of scheme in this bedroom. Oh my gosh, I have to talk about that. As you guys can see, the roof is kind of intertwining uh, between the porch area I made. That is one complaint I definitely have. It's probably just my roofing skills, but that's pretty annoying, I do have to say. That was, that did not make me very happy. <laughs> but to get the look that I wanted it to have, I just kept it there and everything so just ignore that or fix it if you know how to fix it fix it <laughs> but as you guys can see I'm putting down a computer because every house must have one although growing up uh, there was a period of time where I didn't have a computer it sucked it really really sucked we didn't have a computer for like a year because I broke it that's right kids I broke it because I am just so good at breaking things like if somebody was to ask me hey Christina like what are you really talented at I would say mm, probably one breaking your face totally kidding I wish <laughs> I'm weak uh breaking everything I touch um so I broke our computer actually by downloading custom content for The Sims 2. So yeah, my obsession also rude my family, rude our computer. So The Sims 2 rude the day. Congratulations, Neville. Anyways, um, I just went ahead and did, you know, a round circular rug. And I, I felt like in this house, curtains were just not needed. 
Um, I felt like it was very open and pretty, so I don't think I used any curtains except in like a little outhouse I did because I couldn't really fit a toilet in the main house. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wow. Um, sucks to live here. I added in a toilet in the main area of the house and I added in a little surprise for you guys as well in the bathroom. But at, right now I'm just working on a porch and as you guys can see the roof kind of intersects with it. I ended up deleting that science door. Don't know why I put that there, but I ended up deleting it. But I just thought, hey, it'd be kind of nice to have a little fireplace out front to sit and chill at night or even in the morning. And then back, uh, back here, I decided to put in a massage table because who doesn't want a good massage? And then um, I believe I ended up cutting out on accident uh, me building the kitchen, but I went in and did the living room first. So uh, I put a TV on a, um, a wardrobe so you could have it. <laughs> a nice dresser in the living room. I've been doing that a lot lately too because uh, my bedrooms are ridiculously small. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. And another thing I was able to really incorporate well into this house is light wood floors. I feel like light wood floors look a little odd in traditional family homes. So when you do modern homes, it just really pulls everything together. So I was really happy that I got to use that. And also more beachy furniture. I believe I used a lot of outdoor living. At first I was going for the get together sort of furniture, but then I realized, hey, get together. Or it's not get together, but, but, but outdoor living incorporates really well. And as you guys saw, there was the kitchen and everything. It took me like two seconds to make it. So no biggie. That's all you missed. I don't know why I keep forgetting to film essential parts. But once again, everything I touch blows up. So how I haven't like blown up yet <laughs> beyond me. But I decided, hey, since we can't actually have a bathroom in the house because I didn't want to use upstairs, let's go ahead and make an outhouse. And I thought it could kind of be a cool little pool house after I uh, added the pool. I was like, hey, yeah, let's transform it into where you would go to shower after the pool and maybe just chill if you were outside at the pool or something. I just thought that'd be kind of fun. Uh, the little outhouse is really little as well so there isn't a bed but if we were ever to get like pull out beds or something that would be the best literally the best to have like that little outhouse just to have a nice pull out bed in case you were ever to have some company come visit you that would also be awesome by the way huh? Huh? to have visitors come visit you from like I don't know some cool place and you could have Yes, I, I would love that. Like in The Sims 3, you would have company and they would come and stay with you from like another world or something or from college or whatever. That would be awesome. But I would like it to be a little bit more realistic where when your company comes, they you do stuff with them and they feel a little uncomfortable if they do certain things. I don't know. I just think that'd be really awesome. Make it a little bit more realistic and fun. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, I just kind of uh, surrounded my pool obnoxiously with lots, <laughs> lots of landscaping. I don't know. I love, love, love greenery. So as you guys can see, I'm just kind of um oversaturating my house with those flowers that I just love. I actually went in off camera later and uh, added in some more like palm trees and stuff back there. I, I don't believe I did it on camera. So when you guys download the house, you guys will see I went back in. I just added a couple of like little palm trees and such back there to make it look a little bit better. But uh, here is the outhouse. That's pretty much what it is. It's not really a pool house. It's more or less an outhouse because it's where our bathroom is. Yay. <laughs> so I ended up using some curtains in here because I'm like, if you're going to take a deuce, might as well do it in private. And, um... I mean, let's be real, guys. Do you want to do it? It, it wouldn't make it wouldn't be logical to use the restroom in like full blown windows unless you're into that sort of lifestyle. Which, if you are, dude, I respect you. I respect you because I couldn't. Anyways, I'm like rambling about the weirdest things today that like don't even make sense. This bathroom's tiny. Hey, guys, look, it has a sink though. <sighs> Okay, so over here is what I was talking about. This this one does not have a sink. <laughs> it literally is a toil. Toil? Okay, a toil. And I went in 
for you guys in that little bathroom, I added in a little soap dispenser. It's like my quote unquote germex in there. I put it like in the corner of that bathroom. So you guys will notice um, in that bathroom, there's like a little soap dispenser in the corner because it's our germex in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys, like I said, I don't plan my homes. I don't sketch them out. I really should. I probably will after this. <laughs> so my my rooms can fit, I don't know, a sink? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to start planning them a bit more. But yeah, don't worry. No matter what, when you leave the bathroom in this house, you're going to have some, some sort of form of clean hands. You know what I mean? Anyways, I decided to add in a little portable bar outside so your sims can maybe party i definitely see this house being kind of a party house and i didn't realize you can put bar stools oh <coughs> excuse me i didn't realize that you couldn't put bar stools on these um portable ones i was like oh that's different and then i just went in and add some lights and i also ended up off camera once again changing the colors of these lights to make like a sort of rainbow effect and uh, what i really want is tiki torches so I used these like more cabiny sort of outdoor lights to protrude light onto um, the bar, even though tiki lights would have worked way cooler, but that's all good. Eventually, I just have a feeling we're going to end up receiving a beachy sort of expansion pack. And when we do, I will build a legitimate beach house. Until then, we're dealing with Oasis Springs Beach House. That's right. Oasis Springs Beach House, where there's not sand, but there's clay. Woo! Dream come true. I've actually only seen actual clay ground, like clay, orangey sort of ground. I don't know what you would call it. Maybe once or twice in my life. I've only been to the desert and stuff, like literally once. <laughs> it was when I was in California about a year ago. I went to, through like Arizona and all of that and I was like shocked because I'm from the east coast in case you don't know and I've lived up north where uh, there's no deserts and it's not tropical at all and then I moved to Florida where it's super tropical and super colorful and everything. So I've seen the you know two different atmospheres there but I never seen a desert so when I was going through Arizona I was like this is literally mind-blowing I saw tumbleweeds and cacti and it was insane it was definitely an experience and super beautiful except for the fact that when you're driving on like you know the Arizona highways they're empty like there's nothing there no cellular service nothing so I'm like what if your car breaks down in the middle of literally the desert what do you do hmm yeah, there's like little call boxes every like seven miles or something. It's scary. It is scary. Anyways, one thing I definitely learned from this speed build, watching it over for sure, is um, I want to add more detail into my decorating, especially my bathrooms. Um, so definitely, 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 definitely. Yeah. Expect more detail when it comes to my decorating. I feel like when I do these speed builds, I... Um, like I said, I kind of see new pieces of furniture that I usually don't see. So just watching it, I'm like, ooh, that would look good in this LP and this room. And I'm just like, hmm, good to know, good to know. Another thing that would be awesome is more fish tanks. I don't use them enough, although I think they are so pretty. They're honestly one of my favorite pieces of furniture within the whole game. Because it's just like, hey, little fishies are in there. You know what I mean? That's like refreshing. I like that. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here is the freaking little tiny sink. Not the sink. <laughs> just kidding. Here's my tiny little soap dispenser. My little Germex that I'm going to put down for you guys. I also put a toilet roll in there. Because I don't know what my sims have been wiping with. Their hands? Apparently so. I actually couldn't find this soap dispenser. I was like, wow. Can they not even have that? <laughs> But then I ended up finding it and, um, you know, you just go ahead and wash your hands in the kitchen if you would like or just pump a little bit of Germex in there. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find the um, the actual soap dispenser, but I was finding bars of soap and I was like, that wouldn't really be useful <laughs> unless you want to use the toilet water to wash your hands with the bar of soap. It was honestly, it was a struggle, but I just thought you guys would enjoy the little soap dispenser in the corner. <laughs> so 
so yeah i believe um that's pretty much the house i went in and just added a couple of little decorations such as these really cute um like little tree decor i really liked those i thought they were fun and yeah i believe that's the house uh the pictures are going to be coming in just a second i hope this commentary wasn't too weird i haven't had my coffee yet so it's definitely different it's definitely different because usually i'm all caffeined up this one was just me in my weird element of life whatever that may be so i hope you all enjoyed i will definitely see you guys very soon with another speed build and uh that's about it i love you all and i will see you all next time bye guys mm -hmm.